Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I have been to Kaiser Craft and I've got some new goodies as well as some not so new goodies that I'm going to be using in different projects that I've got going on at the moment. So if you'd like to see what I got from Kaiser Craft, then just stay watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the new in-store range. So this is the first Christmas collection for 2018 from Kaiser Craft. It is called Sparkle. And it is black and white and pink and rose gold and it is spectacular um, so to start off with this doesn't come in a paper pack like the other ones do because every single paper in this collection has rose gold foiling Mwah, it's so good um, so I didn't get all the sheets but that's because they didn't have all the sheets they were sold out so I don't know which ones I've missed out on um, but the ones I've got I'm so in love with so this first one here I'll give you the names of them as I go this is called illuminate the other really cool thing is Kaiser Craft have not been available online before. They now have a selection of things on the website. So if you are interested in this and you can't get to a Kaiser Craft store, they now do have that option to be able to buy in store. Um, not in store, well, buy online. So I will link their website down below as well as every single product that I mention as well as the price um, in my description box so that you guys can check it out. So the first one, as I said, is called Illuminate. So on one side, it's got this beautiful black with the rose gold reindeer and it is amazing and then on the other side we've got this Christmas light sort of Christmas tree with Christmas lights in the pink and I really love that I love the texture of it it looks really cool I'm just gonna move those off to the side as I do this the second page is the um, sticker sheet this is not foiled it's the only part of the collection that's not as far as I'm aware um, but I loved the sort of the decorations with it and you can use these really nicely on cards and that's what I'm planning on doing with this is making Christmas cards and because of the wedding I have to start early so that's why I was very glad that someone's brought out a Christmas collection now so this one's called glint and on this side it's got these beautiful flowers with the green and the pink and the black background but then on this side it's the pink wash with the rose gold bu like bubbles and I just love that I think that's gorgeous and this one is called Shiny and it's got these beautiful Christmas trees. Reminds me actually of the Kiki K Christmas trees from the other year. So you've got um, sort of like they're upside down, so they're working together. But you've got that rose gold glint on there. And then on the back, you've got the black with the baubles with the sort of, they're not rose gold, but they are rose gold colored, if that makes any sense. This one is called Glistening. And it's got those beautiful snowflakes on the pink with the rose gold and oh can't you just imagine that making the most beautiful christmas card and then on the back we've got the spots this one i thought was really interesting this is called vivacity vivacity yes i'm going with that and it's got the music notes on the back but then on this side it doesn't actually have any foiling but this is actually glitter so it's iridescent glitter you've got that green and pink sparkle with this kind of stripe along there and I just thought that was really interesting and really different. So I really love that, especially that green red shift you get. Hope you guys can see that. It's beautiful. And we've got this one, which has got this pink sort of, got a bit of damage there. I think that's from the glitter, but that's okay. I'm not really worried. Oh, I know why. Um, so it's got the pink sort of, what do you call that? Lens flare, I guess, on one side. And then on the other side, it's called radiance. It's this marble with the pink but then the rose gold cracking through it and it just looks spectacular. I just love it. I love this whole collection. I've got this one here with the snowflakes. These ones aren't foiled on this side, but then on the other side, these are all your quotes. So this is called Luster and it's got all your Christmas quotes all along here. This is what I'm gonna basically use on all of my fronts of my Christmas ones. I love this one. Christmas is too sparkly, said no one ever. And I love it, it's so good. And then we've got, this one's called a glow, so it's got those um, baubles on one side and it's got this pink kind of wash on the other side. I just love the pink combination. Pink's not a Christmas colour in my head, but it's beautiful. And then this one here, you've got geometric shapes. You could use this, especially this one, for not Christmas and get away with that really easily. And you've got the black sort of, I don't know what you call those, it looks like wallpaper to me. And this one's called oral and it's just gorgeous. So following on from those I did get two other items from the collection I got a six and a half inch paper pad and I will flick you through this really quickly only reason I got this was because I only had one left if I had I had two or three I wouldn't have worried about it but we all know I love these 
so I wasn't going to leave it there if there's only one. So we've got smaller versions of all the ones we've just seen and I'm interested to see if they're also foiled. So we're going to find out. So we've got two pages of each. So we've got the black one. So that doesn't have any foiling to it. Oh, yes. That one doesn't have any foiling, but that one does have the glitter. So we've got a small version of that glitter one and it does have the exact same green and red reflect in it, which is great. Sorry, I've got some sticky tape stuck on my finger. So we've got the one with the baubles without the foiling. We've got the Christmas tree in the pink. Oh good, some of them are. Excellent. So we've got the Christmas trees and those ones are foiled. That's a bit sad. We've got the reindeer which aren't foiled. Oh, but yay. Oh, but yay. I just saw something. Uh, so we've got the music ones. They weren't foiled to begin with. We do have the gorgeous snowflakes and they are foiled and they look amazing. That's a bit sad. The marble one isn't. We've got the lights. A whole page of just the spots and that's this one can be used for not Christmas which I love uh, so you got the black one you've got the geometric one sadly not foiled you've got the quotes so these are not the same ones it's a smaller portion of it but the same sort of ones but not you know what I mean not just a smaller version of them it's actually got different ones so that they stay in the same size and they are foiled got the white white the pink wash the snowflakes, oh wow, oh wow, oh that's gorgeous. So you actually have two pages of just gold, rose gold foil. That's great. And then we've got some die cuts at the back. So you've got the actual sort of die cut ones. Oh, what's that? Something orange. So you've got one page of the little sentiments, one page of the borders, and then one page of these little tags. What have we got at the back? And we've got another one with some more sentiments, which is excellent. So while we're sort of talking about things to add on our cards, this is something that I've never seen Kazercraft do before. This is a sticker pad using the collection. So there are 800 stickers in here, including foil accents. This is $15.99, so it is a step up from their normal sticker books. And I'm looking at it thinking you probably don't get quite as much as in the sticker books, but if they're all foiled, um, I'm gonna handle that rather well. So the first page here, we've got those gorgeous flowers with oh rose gold snowflakes. We've got two pages of those. Okay, I'm loving that they've got two. So you've got the quote page. Twas the night before Christmas. Love that. So they've got two pages of each one. That's excellent. So you've got some more rose gold there with the reindeer. And they do look like the Gifts of Cave trees from the year before last. You've got some round ones. Warmth and cheer. You've got some actual sort of quote ones to go like on the inside of your cards or even on the outside of your cards. So these are. They're just like the sticker books that we normally get. So you've got numbers too. I could do a whole Christmas. Oh, let me know if you want me to do a pink Christmas week. I know it's a long time to wait, but I will do one. So we've got then some little circle ones, some more words there. Love that. Document December 25, family time. Wish list. Oh, I'm thinking of many things I can do with this. And then we've got some fully foiled words at the back here. So you've got seasons, greetings, Merry Christmas and joy. Oh, I just want to play with those. And then we've got some sort of washi tape ones as well. So to go down the bottom of your pages or across. Oh, I love those. Oh, hold on, what have I got? I only got three pages of those. Awesome, not going to complain. So that is the sticker pad. Like I said, that's something new from Kayser Craft. I love that. I think that's a fantastic idea. Oh. Um, so then I did grab a bunch of other things. A lot of these ones were on sale. So I'm going to drop some on the ground. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I did get these three ribbons, so these were all on sale, these are only $2 each. I will link all the, anything that's got a link I will put down below as well as what the prices were. Um, so these are in my wedding colours, so the dark blue or the navy blue and the teal. I'm in the middle of making my bombiers, so I was, I wanted some ribbons, so while they were there I grabbed them. I then grabbed, and these ones, some of these weren't on sale, the dot one was on sale, I think. I know it's got $5.99 on there, but I don't think I actually paid that. Um, so just an embossing folder for me to use with my DIY cuts. I got this mini stamp of the whale because I just thought it was gorgeous. And I got this designer template because I want to start playing, as you guys know, with my sort of arty farty stuff. Um, trying to sort of teach myself how to use things. So I wanted to use this with like some texture paints or some inks. Just to kind of give my something a bit of a zhuzh. 
And then I also got this card. This was free. Um, this is gonna be my dad's Father's Day card. But then while we're talking about that arty farty thing, I've been looking for A4 watercolor paper for the last two weeks. Ever since I got my Mumsy and Bub uh, TN, I've been trying to find A4 watercolor because I found A5, but that's not really any help because the books end up really small. So I've got these, this one, which is going to be a bit of a watercolor pad. But while I was looking for this, the, the problem that you're going to have with this watercolour paper if, you, if I put it into make it into a little booklet is that it is really thick so you're not going to get a lot of pages in that so I wanted something else that sort of felt good that I could use that for so I got this sketchbook so it is a it is a sketchbook um, but the paper feels nicer than anything else I've been looking at it is completely empty um, but I'm going to tear this apart basically um, and make it into an insert for my Mumsy and Bub TN so that I can carry it around with me and do sort of bits and pieces so I don't know how that's gonna work yet I don't know if it'll work yet I do feel bad pulling it apart because it is a beautiful journal uh, but it, for, that was 12 bucks and this was nine bucks and that's only got 15 sheets and this has got a hundred so to me the value was in here even if I do pull it apart so I'm gonna give that a shot and I will let you know how that works out but that is my little <laughs> little Kayser craft haul I love that sparkle collection I'm so excited to start making Christmas cards I know it's ridiculous to start making Christmas cards in August, but if I don't start making them now, they're not going to get done. So I need to get onto those as quickly as I possibly can. I don't make Christmas cards for everyone, just to put that little out there. I don't make Christmas cards for everybody I know. People that I know and I love and I see all the time, they get handmade ones and other people get ones that I buy from the shops. Um, but I do love making them if I have time and if I can. So I will make a couple and hopefully those people appreciate it. Uh, but other than that, Christmas cards I think are just a nice thing to do. If you can do them, do them. Even if they're just $2 ones bought from the reject shop. There's no harm in doing them and I think they're, they're a nice little thing just to say I miss, I miss you, I like, I'm thinking about you, whatever it happens to be at Christmas time. So that is it for today's video guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you'd like to see me use out of this first. I will do a week using this one um, for Christmas which like I said, feels like a really long way away. Uh, I will also be showing you guys what I've been making for the wedding. I'll do that all in one big video. So make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss that video when it goes up. Don't forget my 5,000th subscriber giveaway is still going on over on Instagram. So make sure that you pop over there and check it out if you want to. Other than that, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will see you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.